Okay, this video is about the timing for a 1981 Ford. This is a Bronco, but <clears throat> any of the inline six, 4.9 liter. A uh, couple of things that I just went through that were kind of a bummer. Um, you get the timing off of this here. The timing is written right here on this document or whatever is taped here. It's uh, six degrees before top dead center, advanced six degrees, I believe. Um, before you do the timing, you have to disconnect the, so there's a vacuum line down there. There's a vacuum line that runs up right here. You have to disconnect that from the distributor um, because it messes with the timing. So you gotta disconnect it and cap it on both ends of the manifold over there where it connects and then on the distributor so you can get the timing right. The bolt you loosen is underneath the distributor right down there, right down there underneath the distributor. I know the light's bad, but it's right underneath the distributor there. That's the bolt you loosen in order to turn it. Um, all that's kind of pretty straightforward, but the part that was killing me is the timing marks. So I found this on the timing cane cover and then I could not see the timing marks. And the reason why is I have two, normally have two belts, a uh, belt on the outside and a belt on the inside. Well, the belt on the inside I removed because I could not see the timing marks. If you look down in there, not that one, uh, down in there. You'll see it says 3, 6, 10, and 14. That is what you use, but you cannot see that when the other belt is on there. So kind of the tip of the day is I took that belt off in order to do the timing. I'm going to put it back on, but um, I had it off to do the timing, and had I had this video and not realized that it was hidden behind the other belt, I wouldn't have wasted two hours trying to find the stupid marks. I hope that helps. Thanks.